Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, the Technology Industry Quarterly Review for Q3 2023, brought to you by Technology and Services Industry Association. My name is Vanessa Lucero, and I'll be your moderator for today. I would now like to introduce our presenter today, Thomas Law, Executive Director and Executive Vice President for TSIA. As with all of our TSIA webinars, we do have a lot of exciting content to cover, so let's jump right in and get started. Thomas, over to you. Thank you so much, Vanessa, and welcome, everybody, to our quarterly update here. I was scrolling through the attendee list. I see a lot of uh, familiar names there, so welcome back, longtime uh, attendees here. But for those of you that might be new to this, we've been doing this, gosh, Vanessa, I think since 2008, I was looking back at some some of the old slides there. Uh, we are TSIA, we are a for-profit research institute, and uh, we do a lot of deep operational benchmarking and research in all these wonderful areas that you can see here, we cover all the service bases. We also have a new CRO council. We do work in offering management. And as always, I want to thank, uh, these are just some of the companies that are on the TSI platform. Uh, thank them for their support. And as you can see here, it's all types of companies uh, in tech. It is hardware companies, software companies, born in the cloud companies, industrial equipment companies, healthcare tech companies, big companies, small companies, we got them all. So let's get into it. I always like to have a theme when I look at uh, the data and kind of process what it's telling us. And today's theme is gonna be revenge of the nerds. And you will see at the end why. But let's open up with a quick uh, poll here. You know, everybody is really has their eyes on trying to figure out where this economy is going to go. We just got done with our TSW conference in Vegas, talking to a lot of companies, uh, still a lot of caution out there. And I'm just curious, if you think about your business model and what is, in a sense, the main lever you think you're going to pull in the next four quarters, are you looking to basically move prices up to help profitability? Are you focusing on taking costs down because you can't raise prices? Um, or are you, do you think you're going to have to face reduced profitability? What do you think is the you know, most likely scenario uh, that you're going to be facing here over the next four quarters? I just want to get a, a pulse here on where companies feel uh, they're, you know, what's going to happen with the business. So let's get some votes in here. I know we got a lot of attendees, so looking for some good participation. And we'll give folks a moment here. Dun, 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 dun. What do you think, Vanessa? How much time should I give folks? Well, they're still coming in. You like to wait them out, and I think you're winning right now. Okay, so, good. Oh, well, you're good. The screen I'm looking at, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not getting the feedback, so I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to keep my powder dry until you tell me you think we're good. Okay. The, um, but... Okay, good. Yeah, I mean, this is a good, I think, for everybody on the call here, just to get a sense of where your peers are, you know, on this topic. And then I'll, I'll give you some color commentary on on what I'm hearing from the conference on these these levers here. All right, Thomas, what do you I think? think I'm going to push we the good? results. Yes. Okay, let's push the results here. Um, all righty. So 70-30 rule here, about 70% of you are focusing on costs and the rest of you then are looking at prices. So th this is highly aligned with what I've been hearing in these executive sessions I've been hosting over the last six months as well as, as what I heard in Vegas. There is a lot of focus on um, cost containment, on operating more efficiently. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that. I do think that's the big lever. What I'm hearing on pricing is that you know with inflation we were able to get some price increases through i heard from a couple of our different advisory boards that you know customers are, are starting to put the brakes on that um, in fact they're starting to ask for more for less this type of conversation so i think we're seeing some headwinds on price increases um, and this concept of reducing profitability which I'll, I'll i'll click into here as we look at some of these results you know this may be something that tech companies are going to have to come to terms with 